last seen on Halloween. His family found his apartment open, his credit cards missing. While OMI is still working to make a positive identification, all signs are pointing to murder. In the El Malpais National Monument near Grants, a man's body. Investigators say it was 65 feet down a cave known as the Double Sinks. It had been there for some time, and it's obvious he had been murdered. Investigators say these men led them to the body, 20-year-old Bryce Franklin and 22-year-old Clifford Bearden. The two were using the presumed victim's credit cards. They were caught on surveillance at two Walmarts, one in Albuquerque, one in Grants. Grants PD officers were able to identify the two suspects uh, immediately of the fraud and forgery case. Uh, and when they looked into it a little bit more, uh, it appeared that, uh, this, that it turned into a homicide investigation. News 13 has learned the murder victim is believed to be a missing junior at UNM studying architecture. His family got worried after Halloween when they couldn't reach him. His cell phone kept going to voicemail. Then on November 10th, his sister went to his apartment to check on him. She found the door open. His wallet was there, but his credit cards were missing. Will OMI works to confirm the man's identity through dental records. Bearden and Franklin are charged with his murder. A big jump for what appeared to be two small town crooks. Bearden, pictured here just three months ago, only has a few burglary arrests. Franklin, just 20 years old, started off with shoplifting, went on to burglary, and then about three years ago, his first violent crimes, aggravated burglary, aggravated assault, and false imprisonment. Now, they're accused of graduating to murder. The motive? Based on speaking with one of the suspects, uh, it was some type of uh, it's money related. Investigators do believe Bearden and Franklin knew the victim, but they don't know how. They believe the victim was murdered in the Grants area. They're still investigating whether he was taken there by force.